250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. If you like to support the mission, support the movement, support your boy, cash app, dollar sign, Michael U.S. Woo, teacher. One of the lawsuit out there in California has been, become so anti-God, so uh evil. It's not even funny. She got her ass fired for refusing to use pronouns. Them pronouns get your ass messed up around here. Those pronouns will get you messed up around here. And I'm trying to figure out how come the local and state and federal governments aren't investigating parents. Because isn't this mental harm to the children? If they're allowing this in the household, I'm just saying. Let's check this out. Hold on, let me get my let me get my drum roll, please. Then I get my drum roll. This is according to the Sacramento Beast, my hometown, Sacramento. What an absolute disgrace. And this is why I'll never raise it. I don't have any kids, but I'll never raise no child out there. A bunch of psychopaths. Teacher refused to use preferred pronoun and was fired. Suit says now district owes. Article written by Daniela Segura. A California school district has settled a lawsuit with a teacher who pays, who says she was fired over her religious beliefs after she refused to use students' preferred pronouns, attorneys say. The jur hold on, y'all. Whoo! I went to a public school. I went to the El Paso Heights out there in Sacramento. Give me a minute. The Jerupa Unified School District in Riverside County agreed to pay $360,000 to Jessica Tapia, her attorneys at Advocates for Faith and Freedom said in May 14th news release. Damn! The settlement closes a federal lawsuit Tapia filed last May that alleged the district's decision to fire Tapia violated her civil and First Amendment rights. According to the lawsuit, the alleged violations in part stem from her refusal to call students by their preferred pronouns, along with her concern about not revealing students' gender identities to parents, the lawsuit says. Let me slow this down. Along with her concern about not revealing students' gender identities i don't know what that means right there maybe y'all can help me out alleged violation of part stem from refusal to call students by their preferred i understand that she ain't, she ain't going along with the pronouns if you're a boy you're a boy you're a girl you're a girl but along with her concern about not revealing students gender identities to parents y'all help me out with that with that last part today's settlement serve as a reminder that religious freedom is protected no matter your career julianne Fle flesher one of Tapia's attorneys said in a release, she said one of Tapia's attorneys, damn. While the district approved the settlement Monday, May 13th, it has not admitted any fault or wrongdoing against Ms. Tapia. Jacqueline Paul, a spokesman for the district, said in an email statement to McClatchy News. The decision to settle this case was made in conjunction with the district's self-insurance authority and in the best interest of the students such that the district can continue to dedicate all of its resources and efforts to educate and support its student population regardless of their protected class paul said now let me see termination after social media post happy worked at the district since 2014 most recently as a physical education teacher she is so fine at Jerupa Valley High School, the lawsuit said, now I got, yeah, if y'all look at this beautiful woman right here. Woo, can you imagine her in some short shorts and uh, uh, them little tight PE, them little PE outfits with the little running shoes. Lord, have look at that long flowing hair. That's a sexy mofo right there. Days before the end of the 2020 to 2022 school year, the lawsuit says Tapia was put on administrative leave 
after a post on her personal Instagram account were brought to the district's attention. The district claimed Miss Tapia's social media posts were racist, offensive, disrespectful, and mocking towards individuals based upon their sexual orientation. The lawsuit says the district went on to accuse Tapia of uh, pros, pros, proselytizing. What the hell does that mean? Who are these big words? Pro. I'm going to look this up real quick. Pro salatizing. Pro selatizing. The action of attempting to convert someone from one religion, belief, or opinion to another. Oh. Okay, so they don't want Miss Tapia to uh, to talk about God. They don't want Tapia to push God on the children. But you can push your beliefs on the children. Think about that. During PE class, as well as refusing to call students by their preferred pronouns, the suit says in late September 2022, the lawsuit says Tapia received a notice of unprofessional conduct wherein the district listed directives she must follow in order to keep her job. And I don't, I don't know how people can go on your personal social media site and it's all, it's a one, it's a prison. Everything's a prison. We're in a district listed directives she must follow in order to keep her job. Along with using students preferred pronouns, this included allowing students to use a bathroom that matches their gender identity and not discussing the Bible with her students. California is really big on uh, keeping children away from God. Subsequently, the lawsuit says Tapia uh, took a medical leave of absence through December 2022. The directives caused Miss Tapia to suffer severe mental and emotional anguish because she was torn between agreeing to condition that caused her to violate her religious beliefs or losing the job she worked her, enti worked her entire life for. The lawsuit says Tapia responded with a letter in December 2022 citing specific directives she could not follow as she said they went against her Christian faith document show. Among those Tapia cited was the requirement to refer to students by their preferred pronouns. The lies and confusion that children are fed in terms of you aren't who you are, you aren't who you were created to be is based in evil. And I will not take part in that. I will not take parts in that Tapia wrote. I believe that God created male and female. Can we get a hand clap for Miss Tapia for standing up for Satan? Got to get that hand clap for Miss Tapia. We got a little bit more reading. Let's see. Tapia says she could not follow the school policy to not inform parents, students of their gender identities. The letter shows. I don't know what that means. Don't the parents know what the what their children are? I don't know what that means, though. Upon her return in January 2023, the lawsuit says she sent the district another letter requesting potential accommodations, which included calling students by the name listed on the school roster or a transfer to a different school or position within the district where she did not need to interact with students. The district responded saying it could not accommodate Tapia's request without violating California federal law aimed at protecting students and providing all students a discrimination and harassment free learning environment as she was later fired the lawsuit says so they can discriminate against christianity but you can't discriminate against them let's see she won i want you guys uh, the settlement certainly does not state or prove any illegal acts or discrimination by the district policy so why you pay a june 2022 report from the ucla school of laws williams institute found that an estimated 1.4 percent of 13 to 17 year olds identify as transgender notice the language they these institutions are are antichrist would y'all like my opinion would y'all like some of this 250 gemstones news tv commentary well of course you do. that's why your ass is here uh, California, not all, but California is ran by Satan from Gavin Newsom all the way down to the school district. The school districts are brainwashing our children. They're keeping our children away from God. And so we just got platforms like mine.
my sole basis for black people to get their stuff together. That's one of the main purposes I uh, start, started this channel to bring the hardcore news, to bring a different perspective, to bring perspective from different people, whether you're gay, whether you're black, because at the end of the day, I'm right. I'm right because I follow God. You understand what I'm saying? So God is always right. Now, if I follow that, I'm always right. But I, I, I'm open to here. I had Muslims come on here, had gays come on here, but we got some straightening. We got some understanding that, that you know, what's right is right. And it's not right that you teach children this crap and they're indoctrinating children and not they're um, socially engineering our children. And these schools are like uh, concentration camps. You will concentrate on hating God. You will concentrate on everything uh, that's going to distract you from loving God and building any uh, an eternal relationship with God. You're going to focus on things like killing children in the womb of this and the mother. Uh, they're even killing children even after the children, uh, even after the baby survives the botched a word surgery. So even if a woman goes through with the surgery, say the 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 child lives. They're passing laws that the doctors are not obligated to save the life of the newborn baby. So this is what they're indoctrinating. Men and women are equal. At any given time, you can change your identity. It depends on how you feel about yourself and your outlook on life and how you identify yourself at that specific time. So if you go to school and you are a, a male student, you may identify as male at breakfast time. But when it comes to the end of the day, so you want to use a restroom at the end of the day is like 1 32 o'clock. You can walk into the female restroom, and now they're building restrooms where boys and girls can go into the same restroom. This is California, this is liberal. This is what Obama is trying to push on the black community, and a lot of the black community have fell victim to it. A black community has uh, upheld these principles of Satan since the 60s, since the civil rights movement. Uh, I don't know if we're going to recover, but it's not just the black community It's uh, nationwide and getting reports. They're trying to push it worldwide. They try to push it on Africa. Lucifer is here, but I'm so happy. One more hand clip. I'm so happy that uh, Miss Tapia got her three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. So happy. So happy. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about? Miss Tapia winning three hundred and sixty thousand dollars after the school fired her ass for not uh, participating in the pronouns Olympics two five zero capital G. I'm gone.